Um, but let's not forget, Sheriff Rand is not the only defendant here. We have the county. And the county's officials uh, did not act according to their legal obligations. And what you had, the, the glaring piece of evidence here is the timing. He's fine, he's doing his job just great, nobody says anything. He tells the administrator and the HR person what the sheriff is doing, and all of a sudden he's out the door with, uh, you gotta get out of here because you need to be on long-term disability. I would like to see the county of Jackson do the right thing. That is the right thing with regard to the sheriff, and what that is, you know, I'm gonna leave that to them. In terms of the lawsuit, um, the case will get resolved one way or the other. It will get resolved either through a trial and a jury verdict, or as happens in many cases, it, it will get settled. And that will only happen though, if um, the county can implicitly or explicitly um, acknowledge that by their action or inaction, they've done wrong. Until they get to that conclusion, um, they're not, there's not gonna be any resolution. Um, I, I kind of believe that they're going to get to the conclusion that they've been wrong here and something should be done. And then it's just a matter of, of the attorneys and the uh, parties coming to agreement on um, what is the appropriate remedy, what's the appropriate compensation. Um, and that, you know, many times that can happen. But uh, more, most cases get resolved, but you find in uh, cases against the government, for civil rights violations, more of those go to, to trial. And that's because you've got too many chefs in the soup, uh, too many people having a say and nobody being able to speak with one voice. So, you know, I'm happy to try the case. Um, I think it's a great case. I don't think I've ever had a stronger case.